Ride with Holly, my sister. <laughs> She's got a juicy on, you guys have already seen a clip of that. And we're here at Cardamom Pod. And here is our brunch. We have this waffle which looks super good. Lots of little, look at all these fancy things. They've used like molds to make. This is ice cream, it's very detailed. And this is a toasty with potatoes that look so good. And like vegan aioli. Yeah. Yay, so excited to eat this. <laughs> All right, we're going into TK Maxx. Gonna see if I can find some good juicy. Ray Dunn. There's so much. It's so funny because like the Ray Dunn collectors in America were going nuts over this. Look, okay, this is gonna be any country. That's good, three dollars. Seriously, the Ray Dunn people, the Ray Dunn ladies, they need to come to the Gold Coast. <laughs> They are missing out. Look at this cute cushion. Decorative cushion. Okay, what do the viewers think? It's How much worth. do you think it is? Take a guess. Okay. On clearance. It four, is four freaking dollar dues. Four Australian dollar dues. That is quite a deal. Nine hundred dollar dues. Three dollars for two hand towels. Of course, if you love Ray Dunn. More Ray Dunn. Okay. okay, how much do you think it is? Okay, two dollars. Three dollars. Three also three dollars. I'm not sure if I like the, the this colors it's too though. Extreme. Yeah, like it's oh, there's. Hang on, this is kind of cute. Whoa, look at this one. This is cute colors. This is two dollars. Is this what a is runner? It? Oh, oh there are two tea towels. I've already got this here. Which Happy Meowween. Oh. I'm gonna show you guys all the juicy stuff they have here. They have this bag, oh this God. lovely bag. That actually is kind of cute. Yeah, cute. Not the kind of bag I'm looking for, but it is nice. Um, it's kind of giving, um, oh yeah, and then another floral bag. Kind of giving like a joy rich style. And then we've got another one there. Not as good as the OG juicy, but tiny little bag. So cute. This here is quite cute, this heart shaped bag. Oh, I'm not sure about the the detail on the front though. That's nice. The colors are nice. Ooh, do I like this hot pink? No, I don't think so. I don't really like that that it, that this is a different font to the logo. If it was all the same font, and also hot pink is not totally my style. This is the one that Holly got for me. One of you guys on Instagram also showed this one to me, which is so helpful. Shout out to you if you're watching. Holly ended up finding it, she got it for me. So I have That's this one, it's quite one. nice. I really like the colors, the pink and the brown, really nice. Oh yeah, little red heart. Mm. Yeah, they're cute. Rainbow, phone bags, clutch. You know, here, Starbucks drive through Last time I was here in the Gold Coast, a couple of years ago, it was like late 2020. And I was saying to you guys, this is exciting for me because we don't really have any Starbucks drive throughs in Sydney that are like inner Sydney, they're more far out in the suburbs, like very far away from me, so. Thank you. Here it is. I want to get an ice brown sugar shake and espresso, but they didn't have it. I just got, <laughs> it's like no whole milk, oat milk, cinnamon dolce latte. pretty is this I love this light faux um, faux antler that's it looks so nice and cozy a Mickey cushion Mickey gingerbread I got for Holly pumpkin cushion from Pottery Barn oh it's really nice and solid you might remember Louis from my previous vlogs isn't he so gorgeous look at that little face he literally was snuggling me and sniffing me before and it's like now he's like he's over it He's like, the excitement's over now. I've been here for like 20 minutes, he doesn't care. I made my famous tofu egg salad for Holly because it's her favorite and I'm just buttering these lovely bread rolls. Really nice, you want to get nice soft bread. Soft white bread is delish to have with these, but really any bread that you like and that you normally eat. And be generous with the butter because it does add a nice flavor. The secret to a good egg salad is that you get kala namak, I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, or Indian black salt, Himalayan black salt, because it's what adds the egg flavor. And there are people out there who make egg salad or egg vegan egg dishes and they don't put it in because they go, oh, I don't like the flavor of it. 
And that's fascinating to me because it just tastes like eggs. So if you ever ate eggs before you were vegan and then you don't like black salt, to me, that doesn't really make a lot of sense. But I can understand if you haven't had eggs in a while. Maybe some people love the mayonnaise yeah, vibe yeah. And it's, versus the salt. I don't know. Yeah, and it can be a bit off-putting if you, you know, if it's too eggy for you and you're like, oh my God, it tastes like too much like eggs. And it's like some people just find that unappealing and that's fine but it is to me that is essential normally i put watercress in my egg salad as well but it's a little bit harder to find watercress mm. here maybe at this time of year i think it's a seasonal thing so we left it out also a little bit of finely chopped red onion if you guys want to know the recipe let me know in the comments do a full okay, tutorial do you want more? Do you oh, business, please? Are you going? <laughs> yep. now we just have some washed iceberg lettuce you can also use cost lettuce also known as romaine in the US and other countries. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah, romaine is cost lettuce. We call it cost, that's C O S, cost lettuce. I really like putting smoked paprika. Hot, you can put hot sauce, so good with hot sauce, any hot sauce you like. You can spice it up, you can add more vegetables. Some people really like to go crazy, but I'm very much, don't go overboard because you don't want to take away from the delicious flavors you already have here. Mm. Oh, another key ingredient curry powder. This is curried egg. I never make my egg salad pretty, I pretty much never make it without curry powder. That's very important. And that is our assembled burger, mm. burger, <laughs> assembled sandwich. Egg burger. I might put a little bit extra lettuce or just like eat okay. this on the side because we've already washed it. Okay. But you don't want it to be too full because sometimes um, it can be like, it can fall apart, but also it's like a lot of watery lettuce. It's got a high water content, so you don't want it to be too watery. Mm, Look at that. Delicious. Delish. My favorite. <laughs> now we're just going to enjoy our dinner and watch some Netflix, catch up on some, some shows. And I will uh, catch up with you guys again tomorrow. Baby, good night. I have a really quick outfit of the day. We have just been chilling all morning. It's like, I don't know, it's like 1.30 or one or something. We're going out for a late lunch now. But yeah, didn't do anything this morning, so I didn't vlog. But here's my outfit of the day. Same t-shirt that I had on yesterday. And I've got my APM Monaco necklace, APM Monaco rings, these silver rings. Oh, I need to fix the white balance. It's looking like a very pink, very comfy casual, just like these little like black high-waisted sweat shorts, but I have the t-shirt over and then socks with my white sneakers. It's pretty warm, so yes. And then I have all my stuff in my tote bag, which I have pockets, so I don't even need this bag, but I just like to have all my stuff to carry to the car. And then my um, Versace sunglasses. We're going to go out for lunch now and I'll see you guys there. Here's the first dish, edamame chips. Cheers. Here is the okonomiyaki. I've never had vegan okonomiyaki in a restaurant. I've only ever had to, I've only made it myself, so it'll be fun to have, have it with someone else who's made it. Yeah, I made it myself many times. And here is the ramen. Holly's favorite. Oh yeah. Alrighty, we're here at Robina, a shopping center here on the Gold Coast, and we're going to this place, Tutti Fruity Frozen Yogurt. So I got the plant-based, a swell of Two of the plant-based flavors was a coconut one and then a pomegranate blueberry. Strawberries, raspberry coolie, mini Oreos, coconut, a little bit of granola, and warm biscoff. Probably got kind of similar. Yeah. And here we are in the food court of Rubina Town Center. Here is the Juicy Couture wallet and card holder my sister picked up for me here. I've been looking for a new card holder, specifically one that has a little chain attached. Previous card holders I have, they don't have a chain attached. And when you drop them on the ground, you can't hear them. That has caused me to lose it a couple of times. And I generally don't lose my stuff, so that's why I wanted one that has a chain. So I'll definitely hear it if I drop it. And I'm not going to be using this wallet though. I only want the card holder, but it comes in a set. So I might see if Holly, my sister wants it or I don't know. I still want an all pink one as well, but I really like this one too. Look how cute it even has this lining. Keychain. The larger wallet is actually really nice too because it's just a flap like this. It's still nice and slim. I thought it was going to be a lot chunkier for some reason, but this 
This is nice and it also has a little chain. I can see. Oh, it's not heart shaped though. Oh, so you can put your keys in there and then tuck your keys away. Maybe I want to end up using this one as well. Here is my outfit for today. We're heading out to run some errands. Holly's got an appointment. We might do some shopping, get some stuff for her house. She only moved into this house recently, but I've just got a super basic outfit on. Adidas, Cohen Frost t-shirt, APM Monaco necklace, just some bike shorts. I got these ones because they have pockets. I really don't like being in shorts or pants without pockets. It kind of drives me crazy. It's just nice because I don't have to always have a bag with me. And then my uh, usual white sneakers. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get going, so see you guys there. Sorry about the glare behind me. This is, I didn't, I didn't think this lighting through. I'm on my way to find Kmart and Big W to look at some houseware, homewares, things for my sister's house. Exciting stuff, right? We're here at Mosho Mosho for lunch. We got a few things from Kmart, some organizational things. Holly's got a ram ramune. I'm just gonna... Can you press down? Yeah, this will release, so it helps you stand up sometimes. In case you guys haven't had one of these before, the Japanese lemonade it has a little glass ball here that keeps it sealed. And then you press down on it. The it ball. Yeah, it goes down here. Here we have, oh, what is this again? Japanese fries? Yeah, what they call them? Oh, they have a seaweed seasoning. They're really good. Mm -hmm. oh, now, Joe's has arrived. Okay. It's so quiet. Starbucks. Let's see what they got. Oh, they've got brown sugar. I got my, oh, so cute. I got my iced brown sugar. Oat milk, shaken espresso, and now I'm heading to Big W, which is out of focus. I'm going to grab a few more things, more things for her house. And yes, I'll take you guys along with me. This is the one I got the other day, you guys. Vegan advent calendars at Big W Australia. Found these perfect size set of tubs for Holly's pantry. And I also got her a little gift. Shower caddy. Hmm. These are the good ones. These are really strong. Pull up to 16 kilos. Hmm. Maybe I'll just get a little one. Uh, making progress. We're in Sephora now. I'm swatching these sheer shiny lipsticks by Fenty Beauty and these colors I'm trying. I think I like the rose and the goji. Those are my favorites. Here is a little homewares haul for my sister's house. We've got this large caddy, which I got for her cleaning supplies, probably to go under her sink. Then I got some chip clips and then I got this suction shower caddy. And this one has a really strong suction. I've actually used ones like this before that have this device and it it sticks really, really well. Also got this very affordable, basic blow dryer. I just thought it would be good if we got one of those, especially for when I'm staying, because Holly, like I said, doesn't use a blow dryer. But I do need one for styling my hair. We got this turntable. I got this, uh, this turntable for the pantry. Three of these drawers on wheels, a large one, two medium ones, and then a couple of these white large baskets. And that is about everything holly's treadmill is so new she doesn't even take it off the plastic yet i didn't vlog much today because i spent the whole day organizing holly's pantry and i haven't really made enough <laughs> why are you laughing it sounds so bad i know <laughs> <laughs> no, I enjoy it. I like doing it. Anyway, we are going down to get some more organizational things. Just a short vlog day today. Yeah. We've got some containers and things. And now we are having a little break. I got this brown sugar soy milk kongcha. Mm. Look, everything's shut. Got a few more things for Holly's house. Wow, look at all this. Holly's house is going to be so organized. Wow, look how cute the menu is. Here is our dinner. Everything here is vegan. Yay. Yes, we have 
chicken chow mein, sesame prawn rolls, barbecue pork bun. Good morning. It's actually past midday. I uh, went for a run on the treadmill this morning and just my usual morning routine and just did some bits around my sister's house. And now I'm going to start organizing the pantry a little bit more. Yesterday I just cleared out the pantry and threw out any old food, any empty boxes and things like that. Today I am going to do some more cleaning and starting to move things into their containers. Yesterday I got three of these clear tiered shelf. Got another turntable. This one just has the, the low shallow side. And I got a bunch more of these white baskets. I got four large white baskets, food storage containers, including these really good cereal ones. I've actually shown these in vlogs before. I got a couple of these narrow containers, some microfiber cloths, large storage tubs on wheels. And these are going to go on the lowest shelf on the floor and then some cutting boards. So far I've just organized different types of products together, canned and jarred goods, tea, coffee, you know, I already started organizing some instant noodles, things like that. Baking stuff is together. Soy milk is together. I'm also thinking I might do a snack tub for both Holly and her partner. She, Holly is, my sister is vegan like me. She was actually vegan before even I was. Her partner is not. So I'm thinking like maybe I'll do like, they can have a little personalized snack basket for each of them. And I'm still gonna clean a few shelves and then I'm gonna start putting things into containers. Here we are guys, we're at Pacific Fair. I'm so excited to be here. Holly says this shopping center is very like America kind of vibes. It's a semi outdoor shopping center. And yes, I am going to be W. I need to get more stuff for her pantry organizing. But yes, I haven't vlogged today at all. This is my first time vlogging for the day, but I thought I'd take you along nonetheless. Just the more Tupperware. So good. And these, like, they're just so LA down here. Oh my god. And everything. You guys, is this not the most gorgeous cinema you've ever seen? Like, this is the most fancy event cinemas ever. Little vlog update for you guys. Currently on the road to Brisbane to see our grandparents for this afternoon. Probably won't be vlogging a ton there, but we have some things to do after we see them, and I'll be definitely, um, I'll definitely vlog that. Currently have a lollipop. Both got some Coca-Cola Chubba Chops. Do you say chupa chup or chupa chop? Tell me in the comments. Alrighty guys, we finished up at my grandparents' house. So yeah, it's like extreme cut to Ikea. We are now at Ikea to get more stuff for Holly's house. Slightly um, just not filming the parking garage, but going to pick up a rubbish bin some other things. Molly's house and Ikea all with their Christmas stuff will probably be out. 
Like exciting. And then maybe we'll get Friday. Yeah. And then we're gonna do oh yeah, you should follow Holly on Instagram. I'll put it right here. She does festive Fridays. Oh, that's on. Bing! Yeah, she does uh, like a festive Fridays series. She does spooky Saturday, spooky Sunday, spooky for, Sunday yeah. for October and then November, December it's um, festive Fridays where she posts festive things every Friday on her story. So she'll get some good content for that because the Christmas things should be out here at Ikea. So let's go. Look at the little ones. Tiny little trolleys. Well, no one wants to go to Ikea on a Friday night, clearly. It is so quiet here. This bin, this rubbish bin, or as my American friends will call it, a trash can. The skog. Do you want a skog, Holly? Wow. Squishy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, so cute. Uh -huh. oh. <laughs> Exhausted. What a day. <laughs> what a day. Oh, what a day. Yeah, these were uh, like out of stock last year. I remember I tried to get them. They're really cute. They look very oh. delicate though. They're nice and lightweight. Ready? Yeah. Pretty lit. That's why it's expensive. Okay. So cute. If you guys remember this from my vlog. Oh, I swear I had the same trouble opening it last year as well, but it's like a little apple candle inside. Very cute. Little plant balls. These are so good. Starbucks drive through And guess what? The Christmas drinks are out. They better be out. Yeah, hopefully they have to make them. I think in a cup. I see someone with a Christmas cup that just drove by us. Here it is, first gingerbread latte of the season, you guys. Oh, Christmas cup too. That's cute. Can you see? Gingy. Now we're at Zarafa's to get my... Oh, Zarafa's place, you So here it is, brunch time. I have the Zarafa's veggie, vegan, or what is this called? Vegan, it's like the Z bread. It's called the Z bread. Holly has the plant-based brekkie roll. Mm -hmm. And then of course, we are also sharing a muffin as our sweet treat. Starbucks here in Australia has two vegan muffins, a blueberry crumble one, and this one, which is orange and poppy seed. Beautiful Maine Coon. She's the neighbor's kitty. Look how gorgeous this little loaf is. I just had to get my camera out and film this glorious loaf. Oh, this is an amazing loaf. Been busy cleaning and organizing more of Holly's house and more rooms today, so I haven't been vlogging. But here is my outfit for this evening going out for dinner. Necklace, jewelry, all things you guys have seen before. Thrifted pants and my black sneakers. We're going to Love Child for dinner, which is a vegan place I've been really excited to go to, so. Here I have a tropical mocktail. It has uh, like lemon, lime, pineapple juice, and rhubarb. It looks so good. Oh, I love these maraschino cherries. Look at that. And Holly got a pineapple juice. Delicious. Here we have the loaded fries. We got the beef ones. You guys, look at this perfect winking face that has been formed on this slice of vegan cheese from the seasonings. It's like, it looks like an emoji, it's crazy. Alrighty, next up we have the chicken tacos. Look at that. Last but not least, we have the chocolate brownie sundae to share. I asked Holly to do my makeup today. I just gave her free reign, but I said she could do kind of like a, a no eyebrows look. This is just how my eyebrows look brushed up with nothing on them. They're very, very fair. And she just did everything else and I love it so much. She also did this really cool thing with my eyes, these like white dots, if you guys can see. I love it, it looks, oh, it's just, I'm gonna be doing this at home so much now, so cool. I'm gonna go out to Flower of Life 
which is a fully vegan bakery and I vlogged it the last time I was in Queensland in late 2020. So yeah, we're gonna go there for some lunch. And then my outfit is an all gray outfit. Apologies, I haven't made my bed yet. My gray Harvard t-shirt, these little gray sweatshorts and white sneakers. Alrighty, we're here at Zarafa's because we got coffees to have with all our treats from Flower of Life. We have chocolate croissant, cinnamon scroll, and this is like a sort of a crispy pastry kind of scroll. It's not a cinnamon bun, so it's not doughy. Right here we have a caramel tart, and this is the egg salad sandwich. It's a tofu, curried tofu egg, which you guys would have seen earlier. That's kind of like my specialty is curried tofu eggs. So we have to try theirs and see how it compares. Before we head to the airport, we're here at Binabara Tea House. We're gonna have a little coffee. It's a very beautiful area. Lots of hiking around here. And Holly, highly recommended. We stop here before we go. We had a look outside and now we're by the fire. So it was a little chilly. It's still kind of earlier in the morning. 